Hello, welcome back to part two of Hearts of Iron for complete idiots like me. So, um, like I mentioned in um, my uh, description, uh, there's a lot of games uh, tutorials out there of Hearts of Iron. There's a lot of game tutorials out there for things like um, Stel Stellaris. But um, what I found was, even though I watched the videos, it was good informative information. But sometimes, because these people have already played a number of times, they seem to sometimes forget that they're some total beginners... Um, don't always experience the same things they do because they've already played the game. So I'm playing this game completely as a beginner. So I, I have no um, expert knowledge of the game. So I'm going through this game as anyone else would when they're trying to play the game. So um, without further ado, we'll get on with it. But there's a slight problem when I did my uh, second episode last night. Um, it didn't record. <laughs> so basically I had to start the game again uh, and basically do the same stuff. So um, I think in the last video we got to the point where we had to do tutorial 2 or 15 which you see on your screen so we're going to do that and um, here we go so if you missed part one check it on our website so not our website our youtube channel and uh, catch up with that episode so let's go and have a look so we've got good now the alerts are sorted out you can start diving into the details of waging war italy starts a war with ethiopia and you should not have much difficulty in winning that war once you learn how to do it move your camera in the southeast direction until you find Eritrea in Africa. Once your camera has location has changed, select the divisions in the Eritrea state. So um, the arrow. So I was up up here. Let's go. So there's the arrow pointing, and it was, it's uh, pointing. Well, it's trying to point to well here. <laughs> so um, it's saying that there are um, there's, there seems to be three divisions here, and uh, there's Somaliland, and, uh, and I think what we need to do is select these uh, oh, units God. here. Okay. And um, now we can plan the fence. Now this is something we need to read carefully. So divisions can join together in armies. An army is used to draw battle plans and they can be assigned to commander. Delete them. Click the new army button at the bottom of the screen. So, okay. Uh, what is that mean? Hello? Okay. Ah, so that's weird. It said there, click the new army group. Yeah, I had to click that one. Okay, never mind. So yeah, I obviously clicked the second one. I don't know what the problem was there. I don't know, I don't know but that's still. Oh, hang on. Oh damn! Now let me do it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that, that's weird. That is. Why doesn't that work? Okay, it's that one then. Okay. So um, click the front line button and be, and click the border to Ethiopia. So let's have a look. There's Ethiopia. So the front line button is. Let's have a look front line is that one and then click on the border okay so it's okay so automatically put a light blue line there it's good if that line now exists towards Ethiopia in order for you to get your troops to attack with battle plans you must first also draw an offensive order the offensive line button so you click the offensive line button and then right click and drag between the two highlighted provinces so we've got these provinces are highlighted there you just see them in light blue so now we need to click the offensive line button, which is that one, and then right click. Does it say right click and drag? There you go. Okay, so it's drawn uh, an offensive line there. So you have, you have now created an offensive uh, order to attack the Ethiopian capital, and uh, the Ethiopian capital is, I'm assuming, where this star is. Uh, let's have a look. It doesn't say anything, so click to view state. So, it still doesn't tell us there. I mean, I know that Addis Ababa is the uh, capital of Ethiopia, but you have to zoom in a little bit, and then you'll see Addis Ababa. Okay, so that star is Addis Ababa. Um, right, where are you? So, uh, where were we? Okay, before you go ahead and give the order to execute the plan, it may be wise to make the cor correct preparations. If you allow your units to prepare for 15 days, and they will receive a combat bonus of up to 30%. Certain land doctrines, which is what we covered in episode 1 with all the research. So let's just go do that now anyway. So let's go to research and have a look at those land doctrines. So where are we? Where was the research? Is that here? So if you click on this and go to, um, what is it? Land doctrine. Where was it? Land doctrine. So these are land doctrines. they got special... Um, certain methods of fighting so what they're saying here is if uh, you have certain land doctrine um well, looking in the wrong place uh you can get a 
you can modify how long you can prepare. So you might be able to prepare, prepare faster than 15 days. So that's that's the worst thing worth bearing in mind. Uh, yeah, others might modify how fast you can reach your maximum level of preparation. It is also advisable that you prepare your force, air force as well. Click the air base in Eritrea. So the air base, um, well, there's nothing else there that looks like a plane except this. So that must be the air base. Uh, so click on that. And it says then, good, in order for your troops to have a higher guarantee of success in battle, it is also important to give them proper air support, to give them the proper air support they require. Air wings assigned to an air region, so can be sent on missions. Support air wings can be sent on the close air support mission. Uh, that's, uh, uh, okay, which will enable them to join land combat engagement. So, okay, this sounds, sounds a little bit confusing there. So air wings is not is not really saying what they are. So I, I think by looking at it, an air wing is um, a group of planes like a division. So because uh, we're seeing seeing three planes here. So air wings assigned to an air region, and a region is obviously as soon as I click on the air base, you see that there's this circle line. So that must be the region. It'd be helpful if they actually put those links there to show you what they are. Because when you click on them, see it doesn't actually do anything. Can be sent on missions. Air wings can be sent on the close air support mission, which will enable them to join land combat engagement. So I think what they're saying here, because we already had some troops there in Eritrea, we can um, get these planes to support them. Um, so it says assign the air wings based in the Eritrea air base by right-clicking the East Africa region and giving them orders when they're assigned. Okay, so there you go. So I right-clicked on um, the East Africa region, and uh, obviously, the, how is it East Africa? Well, uh, if you know your compass, uh, that's north, south, e e uh, east, and west, and you're going to wrong myself then. And uh, Africa East is where we are, so it doesn't. It, it's quite obvious that we have to click in this area here because that's East Africa. Okay, there are a number of different air missions, and the air missions on air wing can be sent on depends on the type of the air wing. Air wing support air wings can be sent on the close support mission. Yeah, okay. To send an air wing on a mission, click the mission icon in the air interface. So, um, obviously, if I click this. Okay, what were then? Um, I see. Okay, so the only air inter interface I've got here is this one. So, um, click the mission icon. Click the mission icon in the air interface. Okay, where's that? Air CPRD. Oh. Okay, a bit confusing. To send an air wing on a mission, click the mission icon. So, okay, I think these are all missions. So the mission icon is not one mission icon, is it? It's the close air support mission. So if I go through here, close air support. So that's a bit confusing as well, wasn't it? Okay, so yeah, they're saying click the mission icon in the air interface, but I think what they mean is click the what are the missions in this toolbar, yeah. So it's a bit it's a bit needs a bit more clarification on there. Uh and then it, okay, so what we're saying here, let me just have a look, where are we? So it still hasn't gone past. Eight and it says two, air, three air wings in East Africa have missions. Okay, so I think I didn't select another mission, so let's do that as well and do. Uh, what should we do? Strategic. Okay, so what's going on here? So oh, I've clicked all the air wings, yeah, and I say click on a mission and to do close air support. And it's doing that, but have you noticed it's only doing two or three? So if I just unclick that and say none of three, click it, two or three. So why is it leaving one out? It's not being very specific, is it? So I think, let's, oh, tactical bomber, close air support. Okay. Oh, that's why it's going on here. Hmm. Select the three. Select the three of them. Uh, right. Well, there's an exclamation mark near here. So why why is a air wing with no mission assigned? Okay. So ah, aha. No, it won't let me do that. See on that one. Why is that then? And then which one is this one? 
got 40 in there. So it's saying that this one here is not because it's a fighter. So I'm assuming a fighter can't do a close air support. I thought it could. Why not? So what if I click on air superiority? There you go. Now it works. So again, that was a bit crappy in the instructions because they said to assign them all to. Um, you know the close air support but you can't it won't let you do the fight on close air support which is why they had an exclamation mark there and then you wouldn't let me proceed through the tutorial so um yeah now we know what that is that is a bit of a you could get stuck there so that's that's highlighted so if that happens to you and it won't let you go past you know that some planes can't do some missions but should really be specified in this tutorial good now with almost everything set up it is time to look at executing the battle plan and conquer ethiopia for italy Click the default map mode button in the bottom right hand corner and select your army by clicking the portrait at the bottom of the screen. So the default map mode is, uh, where is that? Where is that? Supply, terrain, resistance, resource, infrastructure. Oh, where is the default map mode? Strategy, oh, default map mode. Okay, so this is that one, okay. So the default map mode, if you mouse over it, it tells you. So uh, army uh, in Eritrea is selected. So um, select that army. I think, what did he say? Uh, click in the portrait. Attento. Okay. And here we go. So we could, before we begin the assault on Ethiopia, you should assign a commander to your army. If you have not already done it, click the empty leader portrait to the top left of the screen and select the commander from the list. Okay. So hello. There you go. So we've got loads of commanders here, but it didn't tell you which one we need to select. So let's have a look at this. Let's use our own initiative. So if I mouse over, we've got skill four, skill two, skill two. We've got all these skills here. And um, I'm presuming the higher skill one is the better one. So what else have we got? War hero, promotion cost, uh, panzer leader. So he's a panzer leader, but we haven't got any panzers. Attack. 10 percent he's got 2.5 so he these are all nowhere near as good as this guy defend so because we're attacking oh he's just good on everything isn't he so we're just gonna select this guy because he's got the best figures okay uh, and um then click the execute plan button at the bottom of the screen so where's that oh here we go and is it which one Oh no, it's not that one. It's this one. So oh yeah, so this one. I just pl clicked on that one, and it says you've got a couple of options: balanced, ag aggressive, or careful. So um, there's there's reasons for for attacking those modes. So we'll go back to that. So it looks like it's this button, which I should have really looked properly. Click on that one. Here you go. It is that one. And uh, we will now. Uh, begin the offensive on Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital. When you have occupied enough of your enemy's territory, they will surrender. And pause the game by pressing the space bar. You can adjust the game speed by pressing plus or minus. So where's plus or minus? Ah, here, plus, increase speed, so you can go faster. Uh, okay, also say, if you feel you can control our own units better, select the division and right click them to manually override the order. So we won't do that yet, but like other point, sorry, strategy games, you can click on a one of these divisions and you can actually right click where you want to go but I don't, I don't want to do that yet because I want to see how this battle plan works out which the AI is doing for us and as you can see we're going there's now obviously have been executed to go to Addis, Addis Ababa cool so uh, in the meantime what have we got we've got some alerts here and the same divisions so while that battle plan plays out uh, I think what we can do here with this unassigned division is the one other oh, one we trained earlier uh, I think we'll just bring them down here because there's nobody down here at all okay so they're going to go all the way down to the bottom of Italy because but it's a bit weak there I know we got a lot of forces here by the looks of it in northern Italy but uh, there's not many down here so I bring them down there so okay that was done and also they are unassigned as well so I'm gonna put them here Avanzate. there you go Attento. Uh, oh there's more think we will put them down here Avanzate. any more Pronto, signore. oh more and we'll put them down here as well Avanzate. any more 
<laughs> it's more. It's a cavalry unit. So uh, I think we're a bit, bit, bit weak there. There you go. Oh, what's this? The remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population. Oh, we've got a research finished. The local population cheered the German soldiers on. Oh, it's gone. Uh, okay. Uh, right, hello. We've got mechanical engineering and we've done that. So, what's this? So, uh, we researched this. And this might be different to episode one because, like I said, I had to restart the game. Um, I did what the AI told me to do, recommended. So, we're going to go back now and do what we want to do. Uh, of course, industry is important. That's researching. So, we go here and. Um, uh, I think our oh, national focus is complete as well. Okay, so I think, um, like I said, uh, Italy is in a position in the sea. So there's a lot of sea around the the, um, the, the peninsula. So we're very um, wise to actually create a lot of ships which will defend this territory. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to go to uh, naval doctrine. Uh, no, I go to naval here, and I'm going. <laughs> And let's press pause. Then everything's going mad here. We got it on uh, fast mode, haven't we? So okay, uh, let's click on OK here, and OK, and let's see what he says here. Oh, hang on, we've uh, won something, haven't we? Ethiopia. All oh, right, here we go. Tutorial. Ethiopia surrendered. You have won. You can now make demands during the peace conference. We recommend that you choose to take all states. Each demand will make will increase world tension by a certain amount. Uh, where's world tension? I can't see at the moment. Uh, the higher the world tension is, the closer you are to world war. Some countries have certain diplomatic actions locked until world tension is high enough. Read more in the hint below. Okay. Okay, so world tension, what is it? Is a measurement of how, how heated the game has become. Certain countries may have certain diplomatic actions locked until... Uh, generally speaking, Axis powers want the war tension to stay low to prevent democratic countries from intervening. While well, democratic countries want world tension to be high, so they can intervene. Declaring war, justifying claims, annexing territory, completing certain national focuses are all examples of actions that might increase world tension. So that we, what we've done just now is annex territory. So the higher the world tension is, the closer you are to world war. So okay, so uh, some, some actions will make people get cheesed off. So uh, we're going to go here, click on this, I suppose, and take all states and click on, uh, what does it say? It doesn't say end turn, but there's no other options there. So let's click on end turn. And uh, what happens? Okay, have we done it? Done. Okay, so here we go. Italy took one state. Ethiopia was annexed. And we have 4,120 equipment. Cool. Okay. So what else does it say? You are victorious. The war is over and Ethiopia has been defeated. During peacetime, you may want to transport troops across the ocean to redeploy them to different locations. I'll just close this window for now. And, and uh, that one. And that one. Um, now that Ethiopia has been defeated, you do not need to have many divisions there. Select at least four divisions and then move them to the highlighted port by clicking the province. So, um, so there's, I presume, that's where the port is. Which one is it? Okay. Where does he want me to go? Oh, yeah. Now he's pointing. All oh, right, here. So it's saying here. So, okay, what do we have to do? Select four divisions. So let's select uh, one. Ordini. No, let's select one. Two. Pronto, signore. Three. Comandi. Four. And move them. What does it say? And move them to that by right clicking the province. Okay, so we right click the province. Let's click, click on that. Okay, so are they moving? No. Okay, you have to click the province, not the dock. So they're moving. You can see that line getting uh, filled in. Look, and it, there they are. So it takes a few days for them to move across mountains, etc. So in the meantime, we've done that. Uh, right. So what do we do there? Two or four divisions. Three. Where's three? Three and one more. They they arrived in there too. Oh look, there they got these skulls on them. Okay, so, uh, right, set the unit stand in the port and right click another port in Italy. So here we go, there's the units. Pronto. Okay, and then click another port in Italy. So let's go out here and move them back into the mainland. 
So I'm trying to take another port. Let's move it now. Let's flash in. And that is it. By the look of the tutorial, is that it? You have not completed the guided part of the tutorial. You can continue playing as Italy if you wish. Read the FAQ or the Italy playthrough if you are. I'll read the FAQ or the Italy playthrough if you find yourself having difficulties. Um, so there's an Italy playthrough here. Where? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> there is currently no text in this page. <laughs> oh, okay. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so we're on our own by looks of it now. Okay, so uh, let's press uh, pause. So that's a bit of a gutting thing, isn't it? The two shows didn't really go very really far, did it? So we really that's it. Oh, here's the world tension here. Yeah. So at the moment, there's a four percent luck. The moment we talked about world tension before. So. Current Moors country. Okay. So I think, uh, right, that's it. We are totally alone and playing this game. And uh, let's find out what to do next. So, free military factories. So, uh, the, these, this is a production line screen. Production lines produce the equipment needed for your war effort. It is recommended that, that you produce both the equipment you need now and that you might need in the future. I think we've said this before because obviously. Um, when there's a war starts and you have only made certain equipment up to that certain point you might need more of troops deployed so it makes sense there are two types of production lines military and naval and the first uses the green um, military ones and then the latter uses the the naval yeah, dockyard which is this sort of crane thing the more factories are assigned to production line the faster it will produce the equipment that makes sense so you got we got uh, mo loads of factories making this destroyer and only one making this convoy, so it's going to take longer. A production line can be created by clicking one of the four highlighted buttons to the left, which is those. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, so we've done that already. Um, and we've done that too. So what are we going to, else are we going to do? We've got three military factories. So what does that mean? So um, looking at the military factory, I've got 19 of 20 here. So it means I can actually allocate another factory to do something else. So I'm going to allocate, I think, to do military equipment okay so that's gone and now it says missing equipment production so um, the only one I can see here we got uh, is a minus figure um, it doesn't tell you where to look oh yeah it does equipment required for air reinforcements fighter so uh, at this point do we do we say we need um, we need fighters more than ships I, I say not so I'm going to bin this one. Oh no. I'm going to bin that one yeah and I'm gonna put more towards the tank at the moment. Because I I uh, know I'll put one there. Um where are we? We're at twenty. So yeah. At the moment I'm not gonna go for the tanks. So that's fine. But I mean, it still says miss and I know but we haven't got a fighter anymore so that's that's old hat. I'll dismiss that one. Modify government so uh, okay we haven't looked at this before. This is a politics screen. This is where you can access things like your country's national focuses, ideas, laws, and more. Political power, which is this sort of uh, little, little like Roman sort of picture icon, represents your country's ability to reach its political goals. Hidden advisors, justifying claims, or guaranteeing independence are all examples of actions that require political power. IDs provide your country with bonuses in different areas, but they also cost political power. So it looks like some sort of currency. Um, okay, so uh, what have we got to do here? Uh, modify government. You can change. So how do we modify the government? Okay, we, we've got a national focus we've got to set. So we're going to go to industrial effort. Because that allows us to have two building slots and two civilian factories. At the moment, I'm just interested in getting enough factories because the factories build things. So I'm going to go for that. I don't have to, but... Anyway, that's what I'm going to go for. So, um, we still got this icon about modify government. So, how do you modify the government? Is it this one? No. Click to add tank. Only oh, design tanks, and you can add. How do you modify the government? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? So I'm going to have a quick look at how to do this because it doesn't really tell us. Oh, well, have we got a help here somewhere? Have we got a help? Yeah, let's click help. 
So, oh, here we go. Um, modify. Um, I don't ever want to do that. I can't manage the cookies. It won't let me do it. Uh, I hate it when I do that. It's uh, really annoying. So, um, okay. Uh, I'm mm, a bit stuck on this bit. I'm modifying the government. So, let's, let's, I'm just going to try and quickly Google this and have a look. Um, but that's what we get when we play a game for the first time. So, let's so modify government, Hearts of Iron 4. And let's see what it says. Need a lot of questions. No, nope, they don't know either. How the hell do you change a government? Someone's saying. How to change the government? Okay, so as obviously people have asked this question quite a lot. Um, and here we go. Ah, uh, uh, right. Oh, still can't see it. Okay, we're going to go back to that because we don't waste time on that. We'll go back to that. So uh, unassigned divisions again. Uh, so we'll put them uh, here. Avanzate. And uh, what else have we got? Pronto, signore. Um, I thought assigning the divisions. Uh, right click an existing arm. We'll create a new one to assign them. Ah, oh, right, you were unassigned. You right click an existing army or create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to say, what should we call this one? Um, oh, what's this? Okay. It doesn't tell you what this is, is it? So, oh, click the I can actually change it. So let's call this uh, Northern Italy. Northern Italy. And click on new. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. That's, how'd you get rid of this one? So, uh, okay, I've assigned, have I signed those? Um, so, right click an existing, I'll create a new one, right? So, right click an existing army. Huh? No. What's going on? This is a bit where it gets confused. The tutorials, the tutorials disappeared now. So, you think you're trying to guess what you're doing. So. That's the army here, right? Okay, so I've done that. Have I done that? Oh, right, okay, so no, I haven't. So where's that? Um, right click, or, you know, right click an existing army. That's an existing one. Okay, all right, so I have to right click this portrait. So I've assigned into Northern Italy. And I'm going to do the same there and any more. Oh, there's Southern Italy. So I'm going to say, create a new army down here and call it Southern Italy. No. Oh, have I? So then it's no, that's not right there. Oh no. Oh bloody hell. Right. Northern Italy. So how do I create a new um Attento. Si, signore. Okay, so that, that's why why is this down here? I'm getting confused now. New theatre. Oh, I'm getting confused. Army 2. Oh, okay, so this is called... Ah, right, that's the theatre, not the army. So this is Southern Italy, then. Southern... Southern... Italia. Okay, so I got that wrong. Let's, 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 let's uh, give it this. I don't think I need this at the moment, right? Yeah, click on that. Okay. And... Uh, okay, just leave that for now, I suppose. So, okay, what I've done, I think, is... Um, if I click on this army, you see, uh, they're down here, highlighted. So that's Southern Italy. So I've got my Southern Italian army. And I, let's click a commander, and uh, let's assign him Lionel Messi, is it? Oh no, it's Giovanni Messi. Let's just sign him for now. So we've got some pictures. And uh, no, where's Northern Italy gone? That's army, isn't it? Okay. Actually, no, he's got two, two south of Italy. I don't know, let's get rid of this one then. Yes, get rid of that one. Uh, and let's just assign this one to this guy. Si, signore. 
No? That is a bit confusing. So. Si, signore. So I want to sign them. Right click an existing army, right? Okay, so I'm going to right click that one. But it doesn't let me. Have I got enough? So why wouldn't let me have, have that one? That's stupid, isn't it? Oh, it's added it now, is it? Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, dear. Right, okay, so I'll click on that one. And we'll allow this to... Uh, what's it? Si, signore. That's not an army. Pronto. Okay, so I've just added them here. as all the divisions are together. And I'm going to put this as Northern Italy. So there you go, Northern Italy. And... Um, Pronto, get a commander and just assign him Hugo. So now we've got Northern Italy army and we've got a Southern Italian army which are here. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we need to go back to this guy again. Look at that, yeah. And I click it in there. Yeah, okay. Good. Pronto, signore. Uh, where's this guy? Hello? Where are you? No, no, no. Oh, right, okay, so there's some over here. And uh, what are they doing over there? Si, signore. Okay, let's create another army there for uh, Yugoslavia. Army Yugoslavia. Oh. <laughs> Yugoslavia doesn't long, no longer exist, but it did before, I remember. And let's put another commander there and call, uh, let's put in this guy. No, Hugo's already in. He's got an army, hasn't he? So, why does it show me up, uh, ones in army already? Capacity? Uh, Sebastiano? No, we'll put him in, in power then. Okay, so we need to get some of these sorted out. Um, and then click that Pronto, one. Signore. Put that there as well. So, it's good. Comandi. And, oh yeah, North Africa. So we haven't got a, a, a team in North Africa. Let's click on North Africa. So North Africa and select another commander. I know, I don't know, just again, who's available at the moment. So who have you got here? Why did it, why did it tell you? Oh, Ubaldo, let's have Ubaldo. Okay, and also, um, let's see what else we got. Formazione. Si, signore. Why does he do that? Right, okay. Anyone else? Attento. Okay. Ordini. No, it's Yugoslavia, North Africa. Uh, right, okay. Si, signore. Oh, bloody hell. So let, let's click on all these three Pronto, and create a new army and call it um, Somaliland. Because that's where they are. Somali land, Somali is how you spell it. Somali land, yeah. So okay, salami, salami, salami land, Somali land, the salami land. Okay, so that's done. So we got an army down there. Is there any more army on the side? Oh bloody hell! Not again. Okay. Commandi. Yes, I already said you could go in that team. Oh, come on. Oh, they're all gone. Thank God for that. So many unassigned people there. So, modify government. Oh, we're going to go back to that because I need to work out what's going on there. So, um, okay. Uh, decisions. Uh, let's have a look what these are. Right. Uh, improved worker conditions. Factory work is hard and fought with many has it. Improved the conditions of that will reduce output and show the long term benefit worth it. Promises of peace. Um, Anti-democratic grades, ban communism, institute press. And I'm going to go for this. So what, do I just click on that? Okay. So what happens there? It costs 50 to take this decision. 50 what? 50 points. Um, okay, that'll do for now. Improved working conditions. So we've got that now. We've got the stamp of approval. So it says that we'll get stability, but the factory up will go down 10%. So, okay. But we might have less problems with um, with uh, let's ban communism. Okay, um, 
and let's, let's, let's undo that. So a research slot available. So we've got another research slot. I'm going, like I said, I'm going to go for the maritime stuff, which is here. So I'm going to go for this one. Research that. And I'm going to go for uh, that class of ship. Research that. And I'm going to also go for this research. I'm just going to concentrate on the naval stuff at the moment. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. <laughs> so that's good. And now insufficient resources. So it's saying here what we need uh, tanks then. So why have we got that for? Uh... Okay, so we got insufficient resources. And we need tungsten because that's minus one. It doesn't say why we. It doesn't say why. We need tungsten. I have no idea why. So and now we've got trade, and let's see what that says. Civilian factories. Have a, we have a total of twenty-three factories. Twelve are used to produce consumer goods, leaving us twelve. Aha! Leaving us with twelve for trade. So they're used for trade. No, you cannot trade away factories received from trade exports, and that trade away fact will prevent them from being used for constructions. Okay, so what do we need? We need tungsten. So filter by oh filter by tungsten, and so uh, how do, and we need three, three. So how do we do this? Ah, look, click to trade with Portugal. Okay, um, so it's all oh, right. Look what we got here. Portugal can export up to 151 units of tungsten. We can trade up to, up to 20, 96 units. So we only want to buy eight. Sorry, we only want to buy eight. So it says that we have to use one civilian factory for that. And it says it will deal. This will can use factories currently dealing with constructions. Well, we have to because we're short. Okay. So now that that's two tungsten available. Um, Okay, well it still says but we've got insufficient resources. Let's press let's press spacebar and see if that figure gets better. Import ah we are look imported eight and uh surplus seven. So that's good. So um what's it happened to the news? The Spanish Civil War has erupted in Spain, several general seeking to overthrow the current government of Madrid. Madrid have issued a pronunciamento and a large portion of the Spanish oh it's gone again. Okay. So let's go back to trade. Let's uh, see what it says about trade again. This is the trade screen. It allows you to trade your civilian factory for resources. Okay, so civilian factories are used for trade as well as building stuff for people. The insufficient resources alert will show whenever one of your production lines, uh, which is what we've seen, does not have the required resources. Production lines will continue to produce equipment, but at a reduced speed. Trade is a valid option to solve that problem. Do note that when you trade away your civilian factories for resource, they cannot be used to construct buildings, which is what we saw already. Oh. So, yeah, we've got another guy here. Let's put him... Oh, oh God. He's gone in there, okay. So, okay, so we've got um, a lot of our soldiers um, in the south of Italy and in the north. Um, and we have... Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing with this at the moment. I think it's... Uh, let's have a look what it's means. Si, signore. Si, signore. Oh. Pronto, signore. Oh, national focus complete. Industrial effort. Okay. So now we've got to go and do uh, national focus again, and uh, industrial effort again. I'm going to go on to this because that's what factories are, re are needed to do to build things. I want to get my industry sorted. Um, I think this 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 thing here. Um, click on close there. This thing here is something to do with um, going to a certain location. Let's, 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 let's go over here, for example, and then click on. Formazione. Oh. Okay. Pronto all'azione. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to have to go back and work what that is. I think it's something to do with that, like, an area that you're combating in. So, okay. So, what have we got here? I don't want to spread communism. No. Uh, do my own stuff. Thank you. So what we got? Uh, modify government. This is the same thing about government. We can need to do modify. Um, so let's go here. What are these? Click, click to add political advisor.
Ah, we've got all these guys now. Oh, I see. So he's Democratic Republican Prince of Terror. <laughs> Prince of Terror. Backroom backstab. <laughs> Armaments organizer. So, oh, there we go. We got that uh, ship as well. And we got the other one. And we got the other one. And we got that one. So, um, compassionate gentleman. So what does this guy actually do? Like, he improves relations. It's all right. This guy supports fascism. So let's pass pause, man, because everything's going really into miles an hour. Captain of industry. Um, I, I, I like that. I'm going get, to get him. But, uh, does he cost me anything? I think he does. 150 points. So still, that's okay. We've still got more left. So, um, yeah, captain of industry. Uh, what else? We, ideological cruiser. Crusade cruiser. War industrialist. Yeah, he might come in handy later. Um, trade deal opinion factor. At the moment, we... Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much money. I'm a bit tight, you see. So I'm not gonna spend too much money on that. Right, okay guys, I am going, oh, what happened there? I'm going to leave it at this point. Uh, we've got more to do and um, I'll be back for another episode. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, we are gonna carry on playing this game as total noobs because um, I'd like to learn the game as I go along and I'm hoping that you guys can also help me with the feedback, especially the experienced people that tell us what we, we need to well, in the comments, what we've missed in the video, and then uh, so we can pick up on on how to fix things. But okay, until next time, uh, thanks for joining us, and goodbye.